Hi friend, today I am going to discuss a very important topic, which is called gear classification. Hope that, it will help you and build your concept. Gear, is the tooth wheel, which is used, where high transmission accuracy is required. Gears is a positive drive, means, there is no slip. Gear is classified according to different criteria. The classification is discussed below. Number 1 is on the basis of the angle between the axis of the shaft. Number 2 is on the basis of the types of gearing. Number 3 is on the basis of the speed of the gear. On the basis of angles between the axis of shaft connected to the gear, Gears are again classified, as below. Number 1 is, parallel shaft. Number 2 is, intersecting shaft. Number 3 is, non-parallel, and non-intersecting shaft. Parallel shaft are again classified, into three categories. First one is, spur gear. In this types of gears, the teeth are straight and parallel to the shaft. This types of gears is used in low speed, due to noisy effect. This types of gears are only 1% used. There is no axial thrust of force. Wristwatch gears is spur gear. Here, the shaft of the gear is parallel to each other. The second type is, helical gear. In this types of gears, the teeth are inclined to the axis. This types of gears are 98% used. They are used normally in car. The main disadvantage is there is axial thrust. This gear are again classified as follows. In this type, the teeth are straight. In this types of helical gear, the teeth are spiral. In this types of gears, there is two helical gears. One is right-handed and other is left-handed. Due to this, the axial thrust cancel each other. This type of gears is very costly. So, there is only 1% used of it. This type of gear is mainly used in racing car. The third one is rack and pinion. Rack is a special type of gear, in which the diameter is infinite. In this types of gears, axes are intersecting. In automobile, bevel gears are used in differential. If the pinion and gear of bevel gear is same, then this gear drive is called meter gear. The third type is, non-parallel, and non-intersecting. This gears are classified as follows. The first type is hypoid gear. In this types of gears, pure rolling is not possible. This types of gears is used where there is a space limitation. This gear is very useful in high speed reduction. The driver is only worm gear. One example of it, is intention and gitter. On the basis of types of gearing, Gears are classified as The first one is external gearing In external gearing, the gears are attached externally In this types of gearing, if one is clockwise, other will be anti-clockwise direction Other types of gearing is internal gear In this types of gearing, both are same direction Third types of gearing is compound gearing. Gears are again classified on the basis of velocity. The categories are as follows. The first type is low velocity gear. The gear having velocity 3 meter per second is called low velocity gear. If the gear has velocity between 3 meter per second to 15 meter per second is called medium velocity gear. The high velocity gear has velocity above 15 meter per second. 